Hey, I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda, and I'm sitting in a 2018 Mazda 3 hatchback, and this is the touring model. And I want to cover something that I'm so excited about. It's Apple CarPlay. All right, so getting started here, this specific vehicle on this model was standard, a late edition for 2018. So it does have the Apple CarPlay. Of course, this is a familiar home screen of the Mazda infotainment uh, system. And so to get Apple CarPlay up and running, the first thing you have to do is take your trusty uh, charging cable or connection cable. And if you'll notice down here, there's two USBs. The one with the smartphone logo on top is the one that you'll actually plug into. Slide that in. And then since we are using Apple, but this of course is uh, working for um, Android Auto as well, uh, you'll take the lightning end right here. We can focus on that. Plug it into my handy dandy iPhone. And so a couple of things you'll notice first, I've already accepted and acknowledged that we'll have Apple CarPlay on this phone. So you can see it pulls up CarPlay there, pulls up the home screen there. And the first time you do this, it's gonna ask you to agree to uh, allowing Apple CarPlay to go ahead and pull up. Uh, you only have to do that once on your phone. And uh, so, uh, it's pretty neat here because this is your home screen. So, of course, uh, we are below five miles per hour. So you have a touch screen here. And this is the home button. Here's the most recent apps. So if I want to jump over here to podcast, can click that and it'll pull up any recent podcast. On this phone, I don't have any subscriptions there. Uh, so then I'm going to go back to home and let's go to music. So then you can pull up libraries for you, browse. Same setup and interface for the most part of what you see on the phone. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that this is a little bit of a safety uh, setup, but when I open this up, if I'm on my phone, uh, let's see here, Oop, let me put my passcode in. When I open it up here, see I'm, I'm at music as well. And of course it shows that we're connected to Apple CarPlay. Uh, as you see, as I'll change there, go to the home screen, it goes to the home screen. Um, let's go to audiobooks. I'll go to the books app. You see that it opened up. I don't have any audiobooks. If I go back to the home screen, it goes back to the home screen. So again, it's uh, connected and of course requires your tethering or connection there because of the strong data required, the transfer there. Um, but it's pretty neat. So we could uh, go over here to our music and um, Let's just do it on the screen. Recently added, added one song. Let's go ahead and get it going here. So we got a little, little Beatles going there. So of course, when you're driving down the road, you can control here with your uh, commander. So you can see it cycling there, go back to play, pause, scroll around, and hit the home button and goes back to home. So you, as you're moving down and not access to the touch screen, you can um, use the commander and go from there. So again, I like this, of course, uh, most of the models that have this are gonna have uh, navigation but you can use your preferred map. So if it's Apple Maps, uh, never used it before on this phone. So you can pull that up there. Of course, it shows our position and we can uh, you know, set destinations and go from there, everything that we're familiar with on our phone. And uh, you can use Waze is available with this, Google Maps also. So there's about 25 or 30 different apps for iPhone. Um, I'm not as 100% familiar with the Android platform, but this is just a smartphone mirroring system. So Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, both work. Very simple. Again, just make sure that you have your uh, phone tethered. And then, of course, can, can navigate with the commander control. 
and you see as I'm turning it, it's going to which app I wanna open. One thing that's neat as far as when you go to the phone, we'll engage that. Who do you wanna call? So it pulls Siri up and says, hey, who do you wanna call? Of course, it can read my voice now. Um, also, it does that. I'm gonna cancel out of that, go back, uh, hit the home button, and go down here to messages. Same kind of... Who do you wanna send it to? So again, as you're driving down the road, this is very intuitive. So you won't even be tempted to touch the screen or anything like that. And uh, it's pretty neat. If you wanna go back to the Mazda system, you've got your Mazda right here. Hit that and there you are back to what you wanna do. And you can be back into your own applications or settings, entertainment. And uh, then oh, I wanna go back to Apple CarPlay. Again, I'm using the commander control, hit that and voila, there we are. Now also, of course, on the steering wheel, you've got controls here. These volume controls still work. And um, then if you push right here in the middle, pulls up Siri. You were saying? And so it, again, it's very intuitive, very, uh, well, it's just awesome, especially for a uh, Apple iPhone fan such as myself. And again, Android Auto's same intuitive, same thing, still tether. And uh, if you don't want to have the CarPlay pull up, but you do need to charge your phone, just put it in that bottom uh, USB. So it's just the top USB that's set up for uh, the mirroring. And um, so just keep that in mind if you just want to charge your phone and not uh, use Apple CarPlay. Of course, I love it. And again, it's uh, uh, using your data is one thing uh, why you'd want, probably want to use the Mazda system sometimes unless you have unlimited data, uh, especially when you're talking about directions with maps and other things. And um, so, oh, I do have Waze on there. So you've got Waze and Google Maps and uh, you can use any of that stuff. Most of it's gonna be uh, maps or audio. So if I had Pandora or iHeartRadio or something like that, all those would show up. Also your sports, so uh, all of your professional sports apps, uh, Major League at bat, uh, NBA's app, NFL's app, all those would pull up there for scores and things like that. Um, but uh, it's pretty neat, pretty cool, very easy. And uh, the great and exciting thing is this. Right now, from 2014 to current, there is an accessory available for this technology, whether it's Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. On your Mazda 2014 to current, you can upgrade. Now again, it's only some models that it's available for, but it's a very reasonable price. I think it's somewhere around 399, something like that installed. But it's, it's very reasonable if you want to use your system. And if you have the infotainment system and your car qualifies all the way back to 2014 and newer, it's very cool. And again, it, if, if, you, if I'm a parent, don't have one driving yet, but if you have someone driving, it, it takes that urge away from, from you know, them wanting to text or whatever the case is because Siri will do it for you, even locations, calls, all that stuff. So it's really cool. And one thing I didn't show you is that when a message does come across, if you click that message, of course, it'll drop down just like it does in a notification on your phone. But if you click that message, it will read it to you. So again, very safe, very awesome and uh, available on certain models from 2014 all the way up. So even if uh, you didn't purchase a 2018 or 2019 after this became uh, standard on some models, you can add it as long as you have this uh, setup here. So come check it out at Mitchell Mazda. Thanks for joining me for this Apple CarPlay. Be sure to check out my channel and other videos as I continue to build it up with more information on these awesome Mazda vehicles and the new technologies available. I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda. Please comment below with any questions or at least let me know how awesome this is when you get it on your new Mazda. And uh, call or text with any questions, 334-718-0504. And it would be a great uh, experience for me. And I'd be very appreciative if you would subscribe to my channel and um, again, interact with me, let me know what you'd like me to cover on these uh, new Mazdas. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day and enjoy your Apple CarPlay.